1974, you had a seminal event in your life. Could you describe it for us? Well, I'm sure, as you know, that was the year I was on tour with my old band, CCR, and we were hitting all the hot spots in the South. Well, we were heading to Atlanta, Georgia, or Hotland, as I like to call it, and our bus broke down in a little town called Leesburg. Well, it was the middle of the night. There was no way we could fix the bus. So we decided to spend the night. Well, I could not sleep. I mean, I was wired. So I spent the whole evening playing my guitar, writing songs, you know, music stuff. In the morning, when the sun came up, I decided, whoa, I have to get outside. So I went down the street and I got some breakfast. On the way back to the motel, I saw a little pawn shop, and I stopped in and I looked around and it was fabulous. And there was a man behind the counter with a gun on his hip, and I said to him, excuse me, do you have any guitars? Well, he must have recognized me because his eyes lit up and he said, oh my God, have I got a guitar for you. And he showed me the most beautiful six-string guitar. Well, unfortunately, what little money I had, I had spent on my breakfast. So I didn't have any money to buy the guitar. And he said to me, you know what? It's a gift. It would be an honor if you took this guitar. And I looked him in the eye and I said to him, I'll take this guitar on one condition. If you ever have a son, I want you to name him after yourself, and when he turns 21, I'll play guitar with him on national TV. True story. <laughs>